The Micro Enterprises Support Program Trust, MESPT, and other government bodies are celebrating the launch of the first hybrid coconut seedlings after successful propagation of seed nuts imported from India. <laughs> This function today marks a uh, culmination of one of the value chains we have been supporting, that is a coconut value chain, which over the years its yield and productivity has continued to go down and down. And uh, this is because the, the variety that we have been having, the African tall, has continued to shrink in number. And therefore, that's the reason why MESP decided to uh, initiate this process of importation of hybrid coconut seed, so as to ensure that that gap that is being left is, is, is filled. So we imported uh, 6,000 nuts, seed nuts, and today marked the day when we transplanted now them from the nursery to, 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 to the farm. And uh, we are having, in partnership with CARO, around 1,200 that will be within the Karo uh, compound. Then the others will be distributed among farmers who again it will be on open quarantine. So as to ensure by the time three years are over, when we will be done with the research project, we will now be in a position to import more as now we, we open it up for other and other regions in Kenya to do the planting of hybrid seeds. 6,000 imported hybrid seed nuts were planted in December 2017 at the Kenya Agriculture and Livestock Research Organization Carlo in Matuga, Kwale County, exactly a month after arrival. Propagation in seedlings, done in partnership with the Kenya Plant Health Inspectorate Service KEFIS, was under close quarantine in line with government regulations. As a requirement in the country, any foreign material that comes from, the, from outside this country has to be put under quarantine and analysis, samples taken for analysis until it is given a clean bill of health that it doesn't have uh, the pathogens for the diseases that uh, are serious to, to coconut, like the lethal yellow disease that wiped the coconut groves, the plantations in Tanzania. So we wanted to make sure that whatever comes in is, uh, doesn't have, is free from that disease. Some of the germinated seeds will be planted on a 20-acre demonstration farm in Matuga, while the rest distributed to farmers to be planted in open quarantine across 21 locations in Taita Taveta, Kilifi, Kwale and Lamo counties. Kalro, uh, as I said, has 55 centers across the country. Each center has mandate for, the, for, for, for counties. For example, what is expected of Horticultural Science Institute in Matuga is that although they are specialized in horticultural crops, we also expect them to support farmers in other value chains that are important for the coastal region. So as the other centers in Mutuapa, in Sabaha, we expect them to support the farmers in those particular regions. Production is demanding and farmers implementing the pilot project were selected after a thorough vetting process and thereafter trained on how to manage seedlings. We are very happy as farmers, on behalf of all the farmers who are going to conduct the on-farm trial of this hybrid variety. We are happy and pleased with the initiative which has been done by MESP, been done, conducted together with the KEFIS, CALRO and AFA. We are very happy as farmers and we know this is just the beginning. I know we are just continuing with our research, but I'm sure once we record successive results from our farms, many farmers are to benefit from this crop. So they have picked a few farmers who will be able to conduct the trials in their farms, me being one of them, and I'm sure in two to three years we are going to record the results we have seen from this hybrid tree. Kwa wakulima, wakulima mipia ni kiwemo. Tunaomba mpoke mpango huu kwa uzito ule ambao umeletwa kwetu. Nafikiri halikuwa wazo lilo 
ambao watu kadhaa waliketi mahali wakasema we think cost is hybrid coconuts ilikuwa ni kitu inaitwa participatory ukipewa huu mnazi ulinde utakurudishia the imported hybrid coconut variety takes a shorter time to mature compared to the east african tall coconuts here are some of the comprehensive comparisons between hybrid coconuts and the indigenous east african tall coconuts the maturity period for the imported hybrid coconut is between two to three years while for the indigenous east african tall coconuts the maturity period is between five to seven years the imported hybrid coconut produces 250 to 300 coconuts per tree per year while the indigenous East African tall coconuts produces between 50 to 80 coconuts per tree per year. The imported hybrid coconuts has an annual production ranging from 15,000 to 18,000 coconuts per acre per year. While for the indigenous East African tall coconuts, the annual production ranges between 3,000 to 4,000 coconuts per acre per year. The imported hybrid coconuts has copra weight of 200 to 250 grams per nut, while for the indigenous East African tall coconuts, the copra weight is between 100 and 150 grams per nut. The imported hybrid coconut has high water content of 500 to 700 ml per nut, while for the indigenous East African tall coconuts, the water content is low between 150 to 200 ml per nut. The imported hybrid coconut has more oil content, while the indigenous East African tall coconut has low oil content. The imported hybrid coconuts require high level of management, while the indigenous East African tall coconuts doesn't require high level of management. Generally, the imported hybrid coconut grows short with ease during harvesting, while the indigenous East African tall coconuts grows very tall with high risk during harvesting. Also, the imported hybrid coconut has lifespan ranging between 30 to 50 years, while the indigenous East African tall coconuts has a lifespan ranging between 80 to 120 years. We are expecting, therefore, with the introduction of this new variety, which I'm being told can yield up to 300 uh, seeds per tree, which means um, a tree, a coconut tree on an acre of 70 trees, we can have about two tons, 2,100 seedlings. It means the farmer or a farmer can earn almost uh, 6,000. Uh, almost 60,000 shillings in a year. If we did that calculation, then this is going to be a game changer for our crop in Taita Taveta. Successful introduction of the imported hybrid variety christened the Wonder Tree Coconut is a ray of hope for farmers and residents of the coastal region. This is because productivity of the East African tall variety has been dwindling over the years and threatening livelihoods. Uh, wakati tunawapa coconut hizi mpya bado tutaendelea na zile za zamani nafikiria umeona kuna nasari pia tunaendelea nayo pale na kama agriculture and food authority chini ya agenda ya president ya big four tutakuwa tunaendesha uh, kilimo pia cha coconut na tunashirikiana na nasari operators katika county zote to boost uptake of the imported hybrid coconut by small-scale and large-scale farmers, sponsors of the project Danida through the Micro Enterprises Support Program Trust, MESPT, in partnership with other stakeholders, are urging county governments to embrace the research project. The ultimate goal is to devolve the crop to other regions outside the coastal belt if the three-year pilot phase is successful. MESP is committed in supporting the coconut value chain, which is underscored as a key contributor in addressing poverty and food security within the coastal region. This is in line with our mandate of supporting the growth and development of micro, small, and medium enterprises to improve business competitiveness and poverty reduction. It is not very easy for organizations 
to fund long-term projects. But I'm happy that MEST is ready to burn their fingers to venture into this coconut uh, project. And I want to assure you that in the end, there will be benefit for your investment. It will not go in vain. So we highly commend your, your gesture. I also urge more development partners to join them in the development of this coconut subsector. The imported hybrid coconut seeds may not be available for purchase to all farmers just yet. Wale watapata hizi mishe kwa sababu badu tunaziangalia kama vile muliambiwa ziko kwa utafiti. Mukiona ni kama ziko na wadudu wanazikura ama maugojwa hamujaona beleni. Tafadhali ambie ni kalo na, na mutu ambie pia diyo tuweze watilia. However, its entry into the country is a welcome move and a boost to the government's efforts of providing food security for citizens and growing the manufacturing sector, which are key pillars of the Big Four development agenda.